Welcome back to Mommy MacGyver Monday. We are real moms with real tips. That's right. Grab your coffee and take a quick break with us. Today we're starting a two-part discussion on organic foods. Have you heard the saying, you can either pay the farmer now or you can pay the doctor later? We are both really you know, big supporters of buying organic foods. And the way I first became more aware of the reasons why you should buy organic food is because I have a little girl. And when she was a baby, I read a study about how much hormone is actually transferred to a child from the milk that we give them. So that was when I really made some changes for my family and got very aware of the reasons why. And then a new study came out about milk too that you were just telling me about. Yes, that the milk now, they actually did a study that just came out this week and that the organic milk actually is more nutritious. It has higher omegas. It's just a better quality milk for your family. And so, um, you know, to get your hands on that study, look that up. It's in the media a lot in the last while. So, And, you know, in talking about organic and GMO-free foods, it feels like we're opening a huge can of right. worms because yes. there is so much information yes. out there and yes. the waters have really been muddied. But the more I research GMOs and the more tests I found showing that they actually do cause disease and can shorten our lifespan. Absolutely. So today, we are just going to talk about the basics, like what does organic and GMO mean right. and what foods are the most and the least effective. Exactly. So organic actually means that it is not allowed to have any kind of synthetic ingredients. So it can't have any kind of pesticides, it can't have anything artificial added to it and be called organic. GMO means genetically modified organism. And what that means is that in a lab, someone has taken the plant and altered the plant's actual DNA and its genetics. And we know that those foods are not good for our bodies. So the rule of thumb is, if it's organic, it's not GMO. It has to be the original genetics. If it is not organic, then it most likely is. Around 90% of our food supply now is GMO, unfortunately. And you know, the scary thing is they're not required to label GMO. Right. So, you know, foods that we eat, we don't know, like exactly. you said. So it's just best to get organic, right. and that way we know for sure yes. what we're eating. Yes. Now, you may have heard of the Dirty Dozen, and what that is is the produce, the fruits and vegetables that have the most pesticides and residue. Um, a couple of the ones I really look for are as apples. Apparently, they have the most residue that's soaked Correct. into the apples, so I always, always buy organic, mm -hmm. even though the cost sometimes is more. Right. It's worth it. Also, like celery, spinach, lettuce, you know, leafy greens. I right. always, always get organic because it's definitely worth paying a few extra dollars. And then there's the Clean 15. And so these are the foods that you really should try to really implant into your nutrition, into your family. So those are listed for you as well. Um, and, you know, with those, you just, you want to be informed when you go to the grocery store and, you know, know these lists, copy them down or print them out. Bring them in. Well, right. we hope that this helps you to make start making informed decisions for your family. You know, we really started, I just did my own research right. whenever we really were trying to lose weight and just shifting right. our whole lifestyle. And when you start to see, it is scary and you really need to start adapting a lot of these changes. So I hope that you can. Right. And you probably agree that we need to eat organic, but the only negative thing about it is that sometimes it can cost more than conventional foods. So next week, we're doing our second part of our series on how to eat organically on a budget. So. We hope you enjoyed your break. All right, you can get up now. <laughs> and for a recap of this and the list, you can go to casa.com and click on the Mommy MacGyver tab. So thanks again. Enjoy your week. Bye-bye.